Hey, what's up everyone? HippoTC here, and in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know for the tall tale number three for a pirate's life. Like the other guide videos for each of the tall tales that I've done, this is a complete guide, and I'm gonna show you everything, including the puzzles and where all of the journals are. So just like the other tall tales, you're gonna start this one at the shack on the beach on any of the outposts. So just go find this skull, captains of the damned, and put your boat down. After a bit of dialogue and some cool animation scenes, you are gonna be basically told that you have to go find Captain Jack Sparrow in the Sea of the Damned. So as soon as the dialogue's wrapped up, you're gonna to jump to your ship and head to the nearest portal, which should be activated now. And you're just gonna sail through it just like you did in the first Tall Tale. After some cool scenes, you're going to end up here. And this is the first main location for this tall tale. You will recognize it from the movies. And it's actually one of my favorite environments that they added. You're going to basically sail this ship through the swamp and get to the end. And that's kind of where it will start. But I do want to make a mention that there are three journals here. So I'm going to show you where those are. But first, you got to kind of start this part of the tall tale up. So sail your ship all the way to the end until eventually you get to this kind of shack on the left. And this is the part where I'm going to park my ship and then use my ship as a uh, as a beacon within this environment so i kind of know where everything is and it'll be our reference point is i guess is what i'm saying so anyways after you park your ship you're going to jump off to the right of the shack and you're going to follow the flames that will lead you to uh that flame i was talking about earlier that you have to get to activate not only the rest of the tall tales but also to get those journals So the flame is just located in the back of the captain's quarters of this ship wreckage. Pretty simple. You're going to see a table and a candle on it. Just go walk up to the candle, take out your lantern and grab the flame. After that, you're going to walk right out and there's going to be a rowboat. Just go jump on the rowboat and enjoy this kind of cool cinematic stuff that's going on with this tall tale. There's a lot of really cool dialogue. I'm not going to show that to you because I don't want to ruin it. And I love what Rare has done. So take your time, really enjoy this. But yeah, just take the rowboat and park it back on your ship. After that, now go to the shack and you're going to start the next part of the tall tale. You got to climb up the ladder and then light these lanterns above the door. After you light them, these kind of cursed souls are going to appear, but you will notice that some of them, uh, their candle is not lit. Well, it is your job to go light their candle. Take your lantern, walk over to them, and kind of light their candles. There are three cursed souls that need their candles lit, um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. After lighting the candles, there is another cinematic scene that is pretty cool. Lots of cool dialogue and just enjoy it because it's really neat. But before you leave this area, because this is the last part that you need to do, there are three journals I want you to get. So with the reference point of this ship being parked next to that shack, this is the first journal. You're going to go to this kind of uh, shack on the water, light this beacon up, and then the journal will appear. The next one with the reference point again with the ship parked at the shack you are going to look for a cage so this gets a little bit confusing here because a lot of it looks similar so i'm just going to show you how i got there in the whole the whole kind of way i did it So this is the second journal. You're going to look for these cages.
once you climb up on the side of the cliff edge you're going to see another torch that needs to be lit go ahead and activate it and you're going to eventually need to shoot down the cage This cage has the second journal. So as soon as it falls into the water, just jump into the water and read the second journal. Now the last journal in this location, using the cage as a reference point, you are going to go to this shack and light another torch. Once the torch is lit, you're gonna follow these new flames that are appearing and it's going to lead you to the water's edge. Once you're at the water's edge, you're gonna just jump into the water and you're gonna see this bright light in a rowboat. This is the last journal location that is in this area. After getting that last journal, you are all good to kind of leave this area. I hope you enjoyed this swamp. It's one of my favorite parts in this tall tale. Uh, so yeah, just get back to your ship, set sail, and eventually you're going to come up onto this town. You're just going to park your ship, and this is kind of the location of the next two journals, which will complete the first set of journals. After parking your ship, you're probably wondering how the heck do I open the gate? Well, it is super simple. You just go to the skeleton on the dock and light the lantern. The first journal in this area is pretty easy to get to. It's just in this cage in the center. You just need to pull out your lantern and light these beacons up. After lighting the beacons up, the door is going to open and you're gonna just jump all the way through to the bottom and grab a toothpick that a skeleton is gonna be holding. That's gonna help you get to the rest of this part of the tall tale, but also uh, help you get out of this cage that you're in now. So grab the lock pick and swim back up to the top here. Now, before you leave this area, this is the journal location. So you're gonna see this skeleton here holding a torch, light the torch, and it is going to activate the journal, and then you can read it. After you've read the journal, pick that lock pick back up and swim through the well right here. And you're going to swim, follow this path all the way to the end, and there's going to be a lock door that this lock pick will be able to be opened. Now, before you leave this bottom area, you need to light one of these torches that are right here. This is going to activate the last journal in this area. But as you can see, this door is locked. Well, that's what the lock pick is for. There is a hole in the ceiling of the jail cell, so we're gonna jump through it. But first, we're gonna go here, unlock this door, and follow the path all the way around and fall through the roof to get that last journal.
and there you have it the last journal of the lost journal so this makes five you should have five of them and this will complete your combination now after you get that journal make your way back up the path and instead of going around and jumping through the hole in the roof you're going to use this pulley bring down the cage and step in it getting to the top you're going to move here on the left and this is the next path forward you're going to walk over here walk down this and you're kind of going to jump on these wood platforms not the cage anything but the cage like To activate the next part of the tail, you basically need to light some more beacons similar to what we did in Tall Tail 1. So just walk over here, activate this big beacon in the center of this lighthouse, and then you're going to be using the same thing that you did last time, which is you are looking for beacons in the distance to light. Once you do that, these, these cursed ships are going to come to the fort. And now to kind of continue it, you need to jump down and fight these new cursed people the the phantoms that are going to appear so walk down to the beach line here and you're going to have a a little fight against some phantoms no big deal you're a pirate you've been through this before Eventually, you're going to come up against the captain of these cursed ships. Upon defeating him, he will leave, he will flee, and you're going to go back to your ship. Heading back to your ship, this will take you to the next location. Just follow the beacons that have been lit on the horizon. Eventually, the Black Pearl will appear, or at least the shadow of the Black Pearl, and you're going to follow her through some cave systems, which will lead you to the town. Getting to the end of the cave, you are going to show up on a fight scene with Barbosa himself. This is the first time that you see Barbosa. You heard him earlier in the tall tale, but they're all looking for Captain Jack Sparrow, and so are we. So we're going to this town and we're going to pull up the ship, park the ship. And one of the things that you need to do is actually use a cannon and shoot the ship of Captain Barbosa. But I tried it with my ship. It doesn't work with my ship. To get this to work, you actually have to go to the town, climb up these stairs, and use the cannon at the top. And this will kind of activate the uh, accommodation for you, so you'll eventually get it with this. But it doesn't work from your ship, so if you try it from your ship, you will not get this unlocked. Now, there are five journals in this location and some other accommodations. So I'm going to show you each one each step of the way. Once you enter the town to the left of this scene, you're going to see Captain Jack Sparrow over here, and he is going to lead you on a chase. You're going to go through this door, and this door is actually going to lead you to your first town folks journal, and that's right here on the left side. Now, before you leave this area, there is a key I want you to get. So on the back side of the well, there's just a key right there on the side there. Make sure you pick that up because you're going to need that a little bit later. Once you have the key, you're just going to go back the way that you saw Captain Jack Sparrow running and follow his path. During this pathway, you're actually going to discover the next journal, so keep an eye for it right here on the right side. Now, eventually, you're going to get to the bridge and get to the location where this key is going to open. So use this key and open the locked door. Pipe down, you lily-livered lover! Hey, send them hands to 
Davy Jones. It's the gold they want. Belay yeah. there, you field rat. Strike your feathers, dearie. Show them your flock. <laughs> Once the door's unlocked, you're going to walk up the stairs and behind this lid, you're going to close the lid and then there's a note. The note will tell you to light the torch in the window. Down, you lily -livered lover. It's the gold they want. Belay there, you field rat. And now it's time for a rowboat ride. It's going to be fun. If you guys have done the Disney World stuff, I'm pretty sure it's very similar to that. Go over to the rowboat and jump on it and start rowing down the path. The reason we turned the beacon on is this is going to get you a commendation along the way. So you're gonna see a rowboat appear and these cursed, uh, this cursed crew is hiding or attempting to hide the town's valuables. Eventually, you're going to get to this locked door. Just jump to the side and use the pulley to get through. Now, on the left side here is another journal. Once you see this scene, go to the left and it'll be right here on the barrel. After reading the journal, make your way down and eventually you're going to see this scene near the end of the rowboat kind of rowboat ride. Honestly, you're going to be digging in the spot. Just pull out your shovel and dig up the villagers treasures, the, the valuables that they have. Now, this took me a bit to figure out, but to complete this part, all you got to do is give it to these skeletons that are on your rowboat and you will get this commendation finished. After completing that, you have done everything that there is to do in this part. So you're going to make your way back to the bridge. And instead of going, instead of going to the right, you're going to go to the left and you're going to see the Phantom of Jack Sparrow. Just follow him and eventually he'll lead you to this door and you can't go through it just yet. Before you continue your chase of Captain Jack Sparrow, there is a journal up here to the right. So just follow the stairs and I will show you where that is. After you get that journal, you're going to kind of chase Jack through the door, but you have to go around it. So use these pulleys and these pathways to kind of jump around it. Eventually, you're going to be led to this famous scene of the prisoners trying to convince the dog to give them the key. Letting the prisoners free is a commendation. So in this case, what you're going to do is follow the dog's path and it will lead you to his food bowl. The food bowl will have the key that you can use to unlock the prisoners. Once you have the key, just walk over to the prison cell and unlock it for him. Now, once you've done that, you're going to follow the path forward and you're going to get to this door and this will be the final door that you need the key for. Once you unlock it, you're going to walk through it and it's going to lead you to another kind of puzzle jump. It's really easy. Just kind of put these in positions here and you're good to go.
eventually following this path you're going to see captain jack sparrow unlocking this door that you are going to need yet another key for so if you heard it right there it actually gave you an audio cue he threw the key in the well so you're going to walk over to this pulley pull the bucket up and grab the key out of the bucket Once you have the key, unlock the door, and you're going to see Captain Jack Sparrow. And this is pretty much it. Outside of one more journal that you need to get, you will be able to complete all the commendations by simply just finishing the tall tale. So this is the location of the last journal. It's right here on the balcony, on the ledge. So just jump down, get it, and you are good to go. After fighting some more phantoms and kind of following the directed path through the town, you're going to go up against the captain. You're going to kill the captain, Black Dog Briar. You're going to go back to your ship and you're going to see the Flying Dutchman again coming out of the water, shooting the Black Pearl, and eventually the Kraken destroying the Black Pearl and taking her down to the depths. Eventually, you'll be led to this island, which is where Captain Jack is. So just park your ship, go up to the door, and you'll see a familiar face. Well, a familiar skeleton, at least, the cursed captain, who is now above the door. He'll grant you access. And then here is Captain Jack Sparrow. At this point, there's just a bit of dialogue, but you're pretty much done with the tall tale. Just follow the sequence through and you will complete it. I hope you all found this guide video useful. If you did, maybe consider hitting the like button, commenting down below, and hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.